Welcome back to more. Let's play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Last time we got all the way here to uh, this sign that says King Jellyfish. Now we're gonna go up to Spork Mountain. All right, we will be finished um, for now, anyways, with Bikini Bottom after this. So yes, we have three pairs of underwear right here that we could grab if we actually needed it, but we don't need it. Bubble Buddy was just telling us that he's up here, and wouldn't you know what? That's true. So yes, now we have to face off King Jellyfish. If you go down here, you're safe. But obviously we're not gonna cower in fear. We're gonna fight this mother. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, and then we go up and we have to hit him. That's how you defeat this guy. Is that your ground pet or after he does that down attack? Go up and hit him. This boss is not that challenging. Uh, he just spawns some jellyfish. And then that's really it. Whoa! That does two attacks that time. Okay. <laughs> um, the jellyfish really won't even attack you, I'm pretty sure. Those purple jellyfish that he's spawning right now, they take two hits. But still, they're not that tough. Um, yeah. They're really not that hard. Like I said, this game really isn't that tough. Ouch! God dang it. Right after I say it, there's like no skill required in this. Freaking jellyfish thing is it. Gosh. Alright, if he stings you, yeah, he will say like, haha, I killed you, bitch. And then you have to wait a couple minutes, but it's pretty much it. There's really nothing hard about this. And he gives up. He's done. He gives us that. <laughs> I love the king jellyfish. I don't know about you guys, but. Alright, you got in the jellyfish jelly return to the Squidward for your reward. So we've completed our big task that we had to do. Um, and over here is the box to get back up here. That's a little hidden too. So yeah, you might miss that. But here we have the funnest part, which is the slide. Or not the funnest, but the best. Jeez. <laughs> I love the music for the slide. But yeah, that's all that Jellyfish Field really was. Um, see, not that bad, actually. You can get some pretty easy money going through here. So, maybe we'll still have our money for Mr. Krabs. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. Another golden spatula. 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 We got the golden spatula. Okay. We have one more thing here. Defeat King Jelly Fit. Oh, doy. <laughs> we haven't clucked it. Do anything if you set your mind and any muscle to it. I couldn't agree more. So, yeah, we're about to. <laughs> We're about to get all of the golden spatulas in uh, Jellyfish Fields. So let's go back to Jellyfish Rock. Here we go. Back to Squidward. Back to square one again. Yeah. We were here a couple videos ago. <laughs> um, Alright, you're Squiddy. So he gives us a golden spatula for that. And that is the spatula called Defeat King Jellyfish. 
So if you're curious, that's it. But uh, yeah, I don't know what that. Boom, we have everything here now. So I think now it's safe to say we have done everything that we want to do in Jellyfish Field at this point. I will be coming back here with the socks. But right now, I'm not going to do that. Okay, back in Bikini Bottom here. Um, we still don't have... How much How much money do we have? Oh, we're close to Mr. Krabs, too. Dang it. Okay, well, um, 15 golden spatulas to go over into that other area. We need 10 golden spatulas, so we could go to Goolagoon right now. But the next area that you're actually supposed to go to is way back here. And that place is <clears throat> five golden spatulas gets us in. Enter downtown bikini bottom. All right. Yeah, pretty sad. Again, I hate how they made Mrs. Puff in this game. Oh my gosh. I, I don't even want to listen to her. She's just telling us to get all the steering wheels. Alright, when you touch a sponge ball, you roll into a ball, and you gotta get past that gate, blah, 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 blah. But what Mrs. Puff wanted us to do was get 11 steering wheels. These steering wheels are spread across all of downtown Bikini Bottom. They're nowhere else in the game, mind you. But, yeah, they're all in downtown Bikini Bottom. So, right there we got a sponge ball challenge that opened that door for good. Uh, this robot is called G Love Glove. Haha, <laughs> bad pun. Okay. To kill it, just do that ground pound thing. That's it. And this guy doesn't dance for joy. What the heck? Hey, hey. Um, yeah. What are you guys thinking of this Let's Play, by the way? And you might get mad at me for this, but I'm actually recording this episode 5 before the first episode's even been released um but it, yeah I just kind of wanted to do that you know okay. you get past that no problem at all you press X in the middle of the spongebob roll to unroll yourself or go back to where you're spongebob here we have a bunch of debris that's gonna be flying at you from every which corner that is just annoying and it gets in your way so much and it's so freaking irritating. I'm just walking around really trying to get me some cash uh, because we're almost to that first Mr. Krabs. Um, we're almost to Mr. Krabs giving us some cash for a golden spatula. So we do this and that um, motorboat or that boat turns or this happens for us to get across is the only way to get across this big gap. There's a checkpoint right there, so should we die? We can get back there easy. And yeah, it's just, um, Downtown Bikini Bottom is one of my absolute favorite areas in this game. Okay, like, I don't even care what anybody says. <laughs> yeah, Downtown Bikini Bottom is one of my absolute favorite areas. This guy is another new enemy, but he didn't get an introduction for some reason. Maybe I just went around the cutscene, I don't really know. Um... Hide in the corner! Okay. Yeah. That guy, uh, he bursts at you, his gas will hurt you. Yada yada yada. Right here, we can now get through this fence for a shortcut. We can also go up here on this trampoline. This trampoline doesn't do anything for us quite yet, but I'm pretty sure it will. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just making that up in my head and I'm um, wrong. Like, completely wrong. I don't know. But hey, we're supposed to go this way now, so let's do just that. And you. Somebody that doesn't want you in their house. Um, <laughs> pretty easy to figure out there, Bubble Buddy. I, I do really like that though in this game, how Bubble Buddy, hit. there's a sock up there that I'm not going to get quite yet. I do like in this game though how they made Bubble Buddy so, um, 
have such a good character in this game. He's got a great character. Uh, yeah. Bubble Buddy is really cool in this game. Hi, Gary. Hi, Gary. Uh, I'll talk to you. Okay, so we need to find Sandy. Um, and to get Sandy, we need to go up here, up here, up here. Bus stop. And oh my god, it's Sandy! Sandy's controls. X jump, 2x double jump. X three times is lasso. Um, that's pretty much all there is to Sandy, really. And Gary. So, now, Sandy is um, a character that you can use to get across the greatest gaps ever. Jump to the top of these steps. Da -da -da -da. Sandy can glide, which I already explained, by pressing X three times. See? Bada boom, baby. Up here is something, probably. It's just some cash. And over here is some good money. Yeah. Um, yeah, those purple ones are worth the most, by the way. Da -da. We can now also get a bunch of steering wheels that we could not get a minute ago. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick. Do, 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 do. Where are we at? Oh, I think I just screwed myself. Did I just royally screw? Okay, no. The thing's right there. I was like, are you serious? I'm going through the hole. Ha <laughs> ha. I cheated the game out. Ha 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 um, downtown Bikini Bottom, though, is also pretty easy to get lost when you're on the streets. Or at least it always was for me, anyways. I don't know, maybe it's not for you, I don't really you know, nor do I care. I'm kidding! Um, these red ones are just worth one. Really, though, who cares about the money system? Um, the money system is pretty easy to explain. So, we can use Circle to attack these. Or you can just do it the quick way and just take them all out and get yourself a big old combo. Sandy can also use the lasso tool on those things to swing across them. More importantly though, we want to get these. And, um... You look at that, you can see the houses there in the distance. That's so cool. But anyways, yeah. Sandy can do that. But what I'm going to do really quick, I'm going to screw myself here and get this. There's another one! Okay. Now that I've screwed myself, uh... Nope! Dang it. Now that I've screwed myself, I have to get way back up there, so... Can I just get up this way? Oh, what?! That's how you're supposed to do a Spongebob, isn't it? God dang it. Hang on a second, guys. Should you fall, you can actually get back up here with the trampolines. But yeah. Um, so thank God for them trampolines, right guys? <laughs> jeez. So yes, now we're just... Whoa! Go back, go back, go back. Ah, jeez. Messed up there. Okay. So yeah. Should we fall, we can just go all the way back there and we'll get that. So we don't have to go quite as far. Which is nice. So yeah, you press X, double jump, and then circle. You grab onto that and you can swing. Which is really freaking nice. Sandy can also lasso a robot because she cannot do the ground pound that Spongebob can do. And Patrick. So yeah, Sandy, uh, there is a couple moves that she can do that the other two can't. And there's also a couple moves that she can do that the other, or she can't do that the other two can. But I think it's safe to say that, like, without a doubt, seriously, Sandy is probably my favorite character in this game. Because just she controls so freaking nice and, like... Oh my god, she can get the farthest distance out of any character. It's like, dude. Alright, um, here's the box that will take you. Back down here by Gary. Gare Gare. And, uh, over there is where that cannon is. But if you go over there, I believe there's a sock. So I'm not gonna go there. Or is it a steering wheel? I actually think it's a steering wheel. Yes, it is. You can take that out. Don't have to worry about it anymore. And then you get yourself a nice little staring well. Not slut or staring well. The nice little staring well. I probably can't make that. 
Um, can I? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, yes, I can. Haha. -ha. So, yeah, the trampolines give you a little extra booth if you are Sandy. So, yeah. There we go. Um, now that we're done with that, we got a pretty good jump start on downtown Bikini Bottom. Uh, we did a lot of stuff here that I wanted to get done that I didn't think we'd actually do in this video, but we did it anyways. Believe it or not, we're actually a good chunk of the way done with downtown Bikini Bottom already. So next time, um, let's play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. We're going to head into the downtown rooftops. See you guys then. Bye.